you know, that was also a tough deployment too, because we wound up losing a really good guy. So it was um, one of the uh, <clears throat> other Bravos. He, uh, we, we came pretty close and uh, we, you know, we got to the point where we'd go jogging every day, stuff like that. And uh, New Year's Day of, or New Year's of 05. Yeah. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, you know, so we go out on a mission, we go on a present stroll. Um, it quickly turned into, hey, we got this guy in the area that we knew we wanted to snatch up. So we go to the compound, kind of soft knock-ish, uh, the compound, but go in a little quiet. Dude wakes up, you know, standard stuff. But instead of giving up, because we get in a little gunfight in the courtyard, nothing crazy. But instead of giving up, he puts his, fr- his, his wife and all his kids in front of him. So, you know, of course, like, um, as they're clearing rooms, Pedro gets to the room he's at. Dude just starts shooting. And like, Damn. I don't know if he was shooting at Pedro or shooting at me because the way the compound lined up, I was basically standing across a small courtyard, pulling long security out the door. He goes into the room and, you know, I get a couple of uh, rounds go off over my head. I was like, what the, you know, I turn around and that's right about the time I see Poppy falling. But um, to his credit, as he was falling, he shot the dude, dropped him uh, and didn't hit any of the kids. And they were, you know, packed around him, you know, just... Uh, you know, so then after that was, uh, you know, a race to get him, get him out of there. And unfortunately we didn't get him there fast enough, uh, come to find out later that where he, he got shot in, in his hip, it hit his hip bone, clipped his femoral, like did a right turn and then went out the other side and clipped the other femoral. But he was oh such a good runner, man. He stayed alive for like almost an hour till we got him out really? of it because his, his heart, his resting heart was just so low. Uh, yeah. yeah, it was crazy, but you know, I'm, you know, on the. I remember it because, you know, we're trying to drive out of there fast. I'm on the top of the truck. I'm just kind of holding his hand. I get sat in the other hand, trying to get him to take off. And I think at one point I yelled on, uh, you know, I can't remember what the sat channel was, the one that's like all over the country, uh, you know, that, that channel. I was like, hey, take the off now. And finally they took off and, you know, put him in there and haul ass back. We get back, you know, an hour later. And, you know, for, unfortunately he was, he was already gone. But, you know, it was a really tough one uh, for the team for sure because they were – They've been together for a while. Um, and you know, he basically did that deployment. He's like, I'm gonna do one more deployment and I'm getting out, kind of thing. So he was, he was a much older guy. Um, but yeah, yeah it, was a, it was a tough one, you know, to, to, to take. But you know, it was you know, it was one of the first times it actually became real for me. Like, hey, this isn't this isn't a joke, man. Like pe- this actually, you know, affects people and, and stuff like that. And, you know, so I started to get a little more serious after that. Um, so but you know, other than that, it was you know, good deployment. Uh, you know, uh, but, you know, obviously except for that, but it's just, uh, it's a tough one, you know, that, that first time, you know, especially because, you know, no one, I was the last guy uh, that he talked to.